Um, it was a really, really big year, lots of commitments, lots of things happening. Uh, I really enjoyed um, the Firebird season, but to not make the finals was disappointing. So to make the Commonwealth Games team after that was certainly a highlight for me, but then again, disappointing that we didn't come away with the gold medal. Uh, well, making the 15 for the Com Games squad was um, probably a highlight. Um, so being involved in that process and being able to, um, I guess, be a part of the lead up to it and go to Kuala Lumpur, um, with the girls was also really exciting and then probably at home playing for Adelaide Thunderbirds and helping them get towards the grand final um, was something I really enjoyed so it was a really big year and probably those two to a standout. Oh goodness, um, I would have to say I, I on the netball side of things I love playing with the Queensland Firebirds as I said before it's an amazing team and we get along very well so that's always a highlight for me I, I mean we'd love to make it um, in the final four, but and then also being named in the in the um, Commonwealth Games team that was incredible. My first time experiencing that, and um, yeah, in my personal life, definitely getting engaged. It's it's lovely to to have that side of things happening as well. So um, well, that was my first A and Z season, so that was a big milestone for me. And getting out on court on that, it was a really exciting experience. And as well as that, my debut game for Australia was. Um, really incredible. So those are two really memorable milestones this year. A real highlight from last year was winning the ANZ Championship with the Thunderbirds. Uh, for me, that's something that I've never achieved before. Uh, and I've been playing in the Thunderbirds for a lot of years now. So to be able to do that with your home state and with the, the girls that you know you play with and see every day, they become like your family. So to be able to do that with them um, last year was fantastic my debut game in um, Scotland in Feb last year. I think um, it's obviously your dream to make sure that when you wear the green and gold you're stepping out on that court and to obviously get that opportunity and get my first test cap was the, the highlight of 2010. Um, the highlight? I mean I, I think the highlight was going to, to the Delhi Games and being announced as a flag bearer. Um, with the Vixens we started off a really great season and then sort of faded away a little bit and had some um, varying results when we were out on court but that for me was a really proud moment for me individually but also for the sport. I think it was a really nice recognition of what, what we've done um, in the Commonwealth Games and um, yeah I think it's just really nice and I didn't take it just for me but it was more for the sport and everyone who's played before and had an involvement. Um, I think last year to be part of the, the Commonwealth Games um, team was just an unbelievable experience to be part of that um, I guess that whole Australian team environment that wasn't just from netball but through all the sports it's you know a pretty am um, amazing thing to be a part of but it's certainly been a, a very interesting year for me off the court as well and yeah getting married was obviously a, a pretty big highlight so I'm going to put that in there as well. <laughs> I enjoyed every moment that I got out there on the court. <laughs> now I think um, you can't beat, you know, Australia versus New Zealand, those matches, so I mean, it's the ultimate for any netballer in Australia, and I absolutely love it for every opportunity I get there. Oh, there's been a lot last year, actually. I um, was very excited uh, to win the Holden Player of the um, ANZ Championship winner car. I've never won anything before, so that was exciting. Um, and Swiss, like, we had such a good season. We went through undefeated and then um, was a disappointing loss in the finals. So, um, And the Commonwealth Games was a great experience as well, but, um, yeah, unfortunately we didn't get the gold medal. So uh, all of those things were fantastic. Um on the netball field, obviously getting in the Commonwealth Games, but in my personal life being engaged and um, also buying a house. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> well, the Swifts did go through undefeated, but then we choked in the finals um, and we didn't win the gold medal. So the two things that were involved with last season weren't successful. Um, 2010, I've forgotten about already. I've moved on. So um, there's certainly some good things. I mean, the game in Delhi was the best netball game ever played and a lot of people that don't even know netball have told me that. So I think we can definitely take something out of that at least. A highlight in 2010? Um, uh, no, like all the games that you coach, um, I always feel privileged to be in charge of such a sensational lot of athletes. That's always a highlight. The job's a highlight for me, I would say. It's like I get out of day out of bed because I want to do the job, not because it's a burden.